and welcome to the World Christian Leadership Conference April 2023 webinar. I am George Augustus Stallings, Jr., the patriarch, the founder and the senior global pastor of Imani Temple, African-American Catholic congregation headquartered in Suitland, Maryland, within the shadow of the capital of the United States of America, and, and having the privilege of serving as the USA president of the Interreligious Association for Peace and Development. As we invite you to join us for this spectacular webinar. We also inform you that translations are being offered in Korean, Spanish, Portuguese, and French. Just simply hit the button for your particular language. Our opening song today is entitled, Sing at the Palace, Hallelujah. It speaks of the building of the Chunil Sanctum, the temple, that we'll be hearing about later on in the program from our distinguished speakers. And the theme of the song is in praise of our heavenly parents and true parents and the kingdom of heaven to come. As I stated, it is composed by none other than David Eaton. And it is performed by the Hyojung Youth Orchestra featuring the vocalist Ahan Wu. Let us enjoy the selection, Sing at the Palace, hallelujah. Excellent. Thanks so much to our Hyojung Youth Orchestra and the vocalist Ahan Wu for that powerful rendition. Our opening prayer will be delivered by Bishop Michael Sykes, who is the senior pastor of the United Met Missionary Baptist Church in Eastern Orange, New Jersey, and also president of Blessing Beyond Borders, Bishop Sykes. Thank you so much, my dear brother, Patriarch George Augustus Stallings. Good morning to all of you. Let us now bow our heads in a word of prayer that we may invoke God's blessing on our gathering this morning and that we may be in his divine providence. Let us pray. Heavenly parents, thou has been our dwelling place in all generations before the mountains stood forth from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Mm. We thank you, heavenly parents, for just being your children. 
We thank you, O God, how we have gathered this morning on the World Christian Leadership Conference webinar. We have gathered from the four corners of this world, east, north, south, and west. And we have gathered for the purpose of bringing springtime to mm. your divine providence. We pray, Heavenly Parent, as we gather here today, that we will be in the spirit of Jesus when he said, Lord, I pray that they all might be one. And Heavenly Parent, we pray this morning that we will be on one accord as we move forward to build your kingdom here on earth. Mm. We have the faith, we have the will, uh, we have the tenacity to stand for you and to stand together. We pray, Lord, that you will bless our minds and our hearts and our spirits, that we might understand each other, that we may move away all of the barriers that keep us from communicating and keep us from living as brothers in the sea world. We, help, we ask you, Heavenly Parent, to remove those barriers and not build walls, but rather to build bridges so that we can see your glory, and that we can change this world. We have the faith, we have the message, and we have the courage. So, Heavenly Parent, we pray that as we move forward in this wonderful thing, springtime in God's mm. providence, mm. that stands for a new beginning. Mm -hmm. a new mission, a, a new providence and that we want to feel in our hearts and that we want to move forward and to enjoy your glory. This we pray, Heavenly Parents, in the name of Michael and Zena Sykes, bless Central Family, in the name of Jesus, our Lord and our Christ, our man and our Jew. Our Jew, our Jew. Thank you so much, Bishop Michael Sykes, for that anointed prayer. Our welcoming remarks will be rendered by none other than our beloved and esteemed chairman of the World Christian Leadership Conference, a true son of true parents who has shown the love of true parents to Christian ministers, not only in the United States of America, but worldwide. True mother could not have selected a better person to represent her as chairman of the World Christian Leadership Conference. I speak of none other than Dr. Ki Hoon Kim, Dr. Kim. Uh, thank you, uh, Patrick uh, Stallings, uh, your uh, great introduction. And you know, when I see today's screen, I see everybody uh, beautiful and smiling uh, faces. So this is, uh, I notice uh, we are era of uh, God's uh, providence uh, springtime. So this is uh, really uh, awakening at uh, this morning or oh, you are entering a uh, God's uh, springtime. So I am so honored uh, with uh, uh, patriarch Stallings uh, and uh, great speakers uh, uh, today, uh, John Jackson and Dr. Rouse uh, and uh, Leveron and Dr. Kutulek, uh, they will like to share about the uh, springtime of God's providence, especially uh, we are uh, gathering together uh, this coming uh, early May in Korea and we can see what is uh, God uh, made us. You can feel this uh, is springtime. Uh, in 1970, you know, Father Moon uh, mentioned, I dedicated everything during the springtime of my life. And you also, should do it in front of God during your springtime. Yes, we have uh, every year four season and we have a springtime, but this is the last day of springtime. So in 1970, Father Mother Moon uh, said, uh, starting this God's providence 
is uh, springtime, uh, which I dedicated all my life. And you should do it same way uh, you invest everything for the sake of uh, God's providence uh, at the springtime, uh, your life. Uh, so this uh, remind me and uh, today our uh, subject, uh, springtime of God's providence. So I am very happy uh, gathering together with our WCLC steering committee uh, pastors around the world. I see so many uh, familiar faces from Philippines, Africa, and Central uh, America, uh, even Dr. and Leiko Jenkins, and from Japan, and from Korea. Uh, thank you so much for your participation to support uh, our monthly WCLC uh, webinar. So let us see our springtime uh, centering on uh, heavenly parents and uh, true parents, what God really want to show us. This is my springtime and this is your springtime. Flowers uh, uh, blossoming. So see and come and enjoy and let us glorify heavenly parent and true parent. Once again, thank you. Patriarch Stallings, uh, your great leadership so many ways. Thank you, Dr. Kim. Thank you so much, Dr. Ki-Hoon Kim. Yes, we are in the springtime of God's providence. And to share those powerful words of true parents, to hear true father speak of us being in the springtime, he in the springtime of his life and inviting us to join him uh, is touching. I, I have goosebumps right now uh, as I remember what you just said about being in this springtime of God's providence. And I pray that we will be worthy to stand with two parents in accomplishing this great providential work. Again, Dr. ki Kim, thank you so much. And now we are privileged to have the reading of the scriptures coming from the Bible and the true mother's words delivered by an awesome and articulate speaker, Dr. Glovenia Williams, who is the co-founder and the chief financial officer of Hallelujah International Ministries Incorporated, Dr. Williams. Thank you. Thank you so much. I want to thank you so much, uh, Patriarch George Stallings, and thank you also for the kind introduction and for your superb uh, servanthood leadership. I will be reading Psalm 27, verse 4. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Dr. Hakshahan Moon, Mother of Peace, True Mother's Words. Now we have ushered in the springtime of the providence. In this providential spring, we need to construct the original world that God planned to realize from the beginning. We can receive the marriage blessing and share it with our family and tribe. Then we can work together as messiahs to transform our nation. Such is heaven's decree. No matter how difficult our work, we need to complete the providence and reveal the truth. When we fulfill our responsibility, following God as sunflowers follow the sun, we will surely realize heavenly parents' dream and humanity's hope. Dr. Glovinia Williams, you did not fail us in that powerful proclamation. 
you are God's gift to humanity. And to share true mother's words about springtime that complement true father's words show clearly that two parents are one, one in spirit, one in the flesh, true father in the spirit world, true mother here on earth, working together as one, both echoing the same message, how profound. And now we move forward to know that in this particular time, we can hear from three speakers who will share with us, not only that we are in this springtime of God's providence, but also what is being constructively done to project that message to the ends of the earth. Our first presenter is the Reverend Dr. John Jackson, who serves as the vice co-chair of the American Clergy Leadership Conference, ACLC, and who has a powerful role as a sub-regional director under the great work of True Mother and also the regional uh, chair, Dr. Chong Sik Yong. Dr. Jackson will deliver a presentation about the Chan Il Sanctum, over which True Mother has placed our beloved, esteemed chairman, Dr. Ki Hoon Kim, as its overseer. And so let us hear now from Reverend John Jackson, Dr. Jackson. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here today. Thank you, Dr. Kim, for inviting me. And uh, thank you, uh, uh, Bishop Stallings, for your graceful introduction. Uh, brothers and sisters, I want to share a little bit with you, just, just a little here, about um, this providence that, uh, let me make sure it's working. There we go. Uh, it all started for me, actually. Mother mother started the program, or the, the building of the, uh, the Chumwangun, this holy temple of the garden, it, that in uh, in Korea, but she did this in two, in 2017. But but you know when you when you come to consecrate a, a temple of God, uh, really before you can consecrate the temple, you need to consecrate the people who are going to stand with you to do so. So there was a program that started in 2019 with peace starts with me. It began in April at the City of Refuge and with the Bishop Noel Jones, True Mother gave an incredible speech there where she talked about how the clergy, the Christian clergy were chosen of God and they were chosen to receive the blessing, give the blessing and save the nation, which uh, uh, Pastor Glovina Williams or Dr. Williams actually just mentioned to in, in Mother's reading. Uh, you know, we had world leaders come the day before, a thousand clergy, and where Mother spoke the same message, and they sh and they spoke about her bringing all leaders together, making them one. Um, Bishop Jones mentioned that you don't judge a, a tree by its leaves or by its branches, but by its fruit, and you can't deny, he said, the fruit of true parents. And the next day, she she greeted us, uh, you know, over 10,000 people at the MGM Grand. And there she said she commissioned us again and told us clearly that we are the chosen of God and the same message she gave. Of course, she gives this message not only in these two places, but she traveled across America giving that same message until up, up to, what, December 28th, where the, the, on the 27th, the World Clergy Leadership Conference was inaugurated <laughs> in New York. And the next day at, at, the, at this center, there were 30,000 30, Christian leaders were there. And again, she uh, you know, doubles down on the World Christian Leadership Conference. And this is just a, a clip of just one small picture of the people who are the steering committee of, that, uh, of this incredible uh, organization. Well, the vision is that she's trying to bring all peoples together, all religious people together, even in going to Korea, establishing the Christian, the, the Korean Christian Leadership Conference at the World Summit. We're, we're all there. And, and, and you can see Mother, what uh, Dr. Moon's doing 
uh, left and right. She's bringing world religious leaders together for the sake of world peace. And they're coming together saying, we'll stand for world peace and we'll stand for peace and we'll, we'll work together and unite together to do so. But not only religious leaders, she's bringing political leaders too. I've never seen, if just take a second to look at this photograph and see who's in it. There was 154 world leaders that came on that day to be with us, as well as Christian leaders from all over the world. Many of you who are on the call today were there. And we came together to build this unity worldwide to consecrate and, and purify ourselves, I believe, for this, uh, for this work that she's doing and, and dedicating this year in May, in, May 20, uh, in May 5th. I couldn't, when I, when I, when I listened to the, the words that uh, Dr. Moon is sharing with us about this um, Chum Wangun or this uh, holy ground, uh, you know, this temple that she's in the holy sanctum that's within the center of the temple. I couldn't help but think about the temple of Solomon, where, where the Solomon built. The 35 acre pasture that uh, a place where, where thousands could gather together. It just reminds me of this incredible work that God is doing and that we have the blessing to be a part of in this time. It's an incredible work, brothers and sisters. I tell you, it's an amazing work. And here, for instance, is a rendering of the temple that Solomon built. It took seven years to build it. By the way, taking seven years to build this temple as well. This is the holy saint, the entry to the holy sanctum. This is the entry to the holy of holies. And the, and the same, you know, if I hadn't told you, you probably wouldn't have known the difference. This is an amazing thing that our true mother is building for us. And she said of the holy sanctum, that when you come into this place, she's setting conditions and she's asking people all around the world to set those conditions with her to purify themselves and to call God into creating a space, a holy space, where God's presence is everywhere in this place. When you come, you will feel the, whole, the full presence of the Holy Spirit. She called it the completion of heaven's providence and the consummation of human history. <clears throat> All of God's children will meet heavenly parent. And it's a, it's a place for all humankind. She's not building a place for unificationists. She's not building a place for one or, or another group. She's building a place where God's presence is there for all of God's children worldwide. Anyone who comes there will feel God's holy presence and they will know that they are his. So this is the work that we are doing. I'm proud to be a part of it. A place where everyone who steps, in, steps their foot will feel the Holy Spirit of God, of heaven and earth and all humankind. What a wonderful, wonderful thing we're going to do this May 5th. God bless you and thank you so much. Mm, mm, wow. 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 God bless you too, Dr. John Jackson. You gave us a very virtual experience of what to anticipate in another week when our eyes will behold the glory of the Lord. I am excited, as I'm sure everyone else is as well. Thank you again. Our next speaker is known to us all. He is the esteemed national co-chair of the American Clergy Leadership Conference, who has distinguished himself with a stellar career of ministry, particularly in the United Methodist Church, and continues to expand his ministry worldwide through the work he is doing as our national co-chairman. I speak of none other than Bishop and Dr. Luan Abram Rouse, who comes to us this morning to share a reflection on the divine plan and way in springtime. My brother, Dr. Rouse. Thank you, Patriot Stallings. Good morning, and thank you, Dr. Ki Hoon Kim, and all who joined us today. 
Marie and I, in thinking about this providential ordering of time, have intentionally decided that we're walking by faith with the woman in charge, Dr. Hachahan Moon, who's doing such a wonderful work as designed by God. One has to ask that after talking with Reverend Sun Young Moon before his ascension, in hearing the laying out of the plan, somewhere in there, Perhaps he said to her, as David said to Solomon in 1 Kings, when we studied the first chapter through the sixth chapter, David explained after going through the beginnings of his death experience, his dying, he said to his son who became king, I was not able to build the first temple because of the enemies around me. But by God's will, I took care of the enemy, that you might have a time of rest, a time of peace. Solomon would go on and explain that to her and say to him that I can build the first temple because of what my father did before me. How can Dr. Hachahan Moon do what she's doing? She's doing it because of her beloved who preceded her and was able to follow the divine plan and way in springtime. Let us join her in May. As Thank we you. enter the spring season, it is a time of new beginnings and growth. For those who believe in God's providence, <laughs> It is also a time to reflect on the divine plan and the ways in which it is unfolding in our lives and in the world. In an existential paradigm, the springtime of God's providence represents a season of hope and renewal. It is a time to embrace the opportunities for growth and change that comes with each new day and to trust in the wisdom and guidance of a loving and merciful God. One relevant scripture that speaks of this idea is found in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter three, verse one through eight, it reads, there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. This passage reminds us that life is full of seasons and circle cycles and that each one has its own purpose and significance. It is up to us to embrace each season with an open heart and a willingness to learn and grow. Dr. Hachahan Moon, the wife of the late Reverend Sung Young Moon and co-founder of the Universal Peace Federation has also spoken about the springtime of God's providence. She said, 
God's providence is moving forward with great momentum. It is like the springtime when everything is starting anew. We must strive to understand the will of God and work together to bring about the realization of the ideal world. This quote reminds us that God's providence is not static or stagnant, but rather it is a dynamic force that is constantly moving forward. We must be willing to align ourselves with this, moment, with this movement and work together to bring about a world of peace and harmony. <clears throat> Marie and I are a blessed married couple who are dedicated to living as disciples of Jesus Christ and spreading his message of love and peace throughout the world. Through our commitment to prayer and nonviolence, we are hoping for others to follow and with us work towards a world where conflicts can be resolved through peaceful means. As we pray for people throughout the world to experience a nonviolent spring in God's providence, we are embodying the spirit of hope and renewal. That is at the heart of the Christian faith. We hope our actions remind people that we all have a role to play in building a better world. And that by working together in the name of love and compassion, we can make a difference in the lives of those around us. Oh yes, in conclusion, the springtime of God's providence is a time to reflect on the divine plan and the ways in which it is unfolding in our lives and in the world. By embracing each season with an open heart and a willingness to learn and grow, we can move forward with hope and confidence, knowing that God's providence is always leading us toward a brighter future. Thank you, World Christian Leadership Conference, for allowing us to shine our light with you in springtime. Whoa. Wow. wow, wow, wow. Thank you, thank you so much, my beloved brother, our beloved brother, Bishop and Dr. Luan Abram Rouse for reflecting on the divine plan and ways of the providence, especially it being a season of hope, a spring and spirit of hope uh, and renewal. And all I could think of Dr. Rouse as you delivered that message was that we have in our midst, the ones who are the eternal spring, true parents. And how fortunate we have been to be able to breathe the same air as they. And that message, the divine plan and way of the providence makes it very clear that we have been privileged to have been called and chosen for such a time as this to attend with filial piety and devotion with Hojong, the true parents of heaven, earth, and humankind. Thank you so much, Dr. Rouse. And of course, this webinar, the springtime of God's providence would be incomplete if we did not hear from a powerful, anointed, appointed, and approved woman of God in the person of the Reverend Dr. Marilyn Kotulik, who serves as president and founder of the International White Eagle Ministries Incorporated and a distinguished national co-chair of the American Clergy Leadership Conference 
women in ministry who will share with us personal reflections and testimonies. My sister, our sister, Dr. Kotulik. Thank you so much, Archbishop. Thank you. Patriarch, excuse me. No problem. <laughs> All right, thank you. Uh, on this special occasion, I want to extend my appreciation, <clears throat> excuse me, to Dr. Kihun Kim, the chairman of the World Christian Leadership Conference for the anointing that he brings to the body of Christ and for his outstanding leadership. Thank you. In addition, I want to thank and esteem my brothers for their leadership as well. Patriarch George Augustus Stallings Jr., Reverend Dr. John Jackson, Dr. Luan Rouse, and all of the National Executive Committee members, and all of my brothers and sisters worldwide. Thank you for the opportunity to testify about Dr. Hashahan Moon. Predestination, predestined for her call and her election. Her family imparted from a four generational impartation for her calling. From a child in North Korea, the hand of God was always been upon her life. She has a consecrated life. She has overcome all trials in her life by the hand of God. Her commitment to two, true father, her husband, both honored God in all of his, all of their work together, courageously succeeded him in the mission of saving the world under one family under God. Her dedication as a global visionary, her mission of saving the world under the one family under God, recognized as one of the most important and inspirational anointed leaders of our time. Motivated, motivated by a divine heart within, excuse me, motivated by a divine heart within our beloved true mother, true mother, the only begotten daughter, which describes her true love in building the holy community on earth. The mother of peace and the only begotten daughter extending parental love worldwide. A blessed example of God's heart in embracing all of mankind. Dedicated her efforts to contribute to peace and the welfare of humankind like a mother our true mother. She captivates people with her sincerity, her spirituality, and her kindness. She succeeded in fulfilling her commitments to act for God. He is leading her each step of her life, and her life is a total devotion to God. The mother of peace, has impressed us in how she continues the efforts of her husband to bring the message of peace and the blessing of marriage to the nations of the world. She, ex she has expected and accepted her responsibility to advance her calling, her willingness to champion peace for our world as well as the family, and her teaching is for moral and ethical values that are based on strong faith in the creator God, our heavenly parent who lives in her and will continue to lead us to peace in this world. We recognize, that her, we recognize her works that make the world truly a better place. 
the ideas that you and I stand for a world where we live in peace with one another, a life well lived in service to others. The mother of peace, her profound love and incredible humility is bringing God's message to the world and her words to help marriages and families survive during this troubled time, bringing all nations and religions together to achieve world peace. Unity is the one element most central in Dr. Moon's work. We need unity and God's blessing. So the world's religious leaders, parliamentarians and professionals in every field can overcome the challenges and barriers in building the world of lasting peace. Our true mother is the role model for all of us as she works for peace. Her dedication to the reestablishing the family is the most important building block of strong and peaceful societies and most important lasting legacy. Her message is God's message inspiring all young couples who are blessed in marriage about the true value of the family. God the Father has always provided a central people to show that one can learn about the realities of life. We thank God for our mother moon, our true mother, for her achievements. Her heart remains unchanged in her for, for her kindness, her sincerity, and desire to change the world for the better. Mm. Reconciliation and unity, interfaith dialogue, strengthening marriages and families, and the, and the internal dynamic at work and the lives, the lives in history, and clarifies our personal role and responsibility in unfolding God's plan for the human family. In our time, in the providential calling to form and establish in a true family, that's God's true family. Now is the time when our human effort can be joined with God's power to realize a world of true and lasting peace. We are now advancing into the era of liberation and complete freedom. And the true love of God is descending on his people. Let us join as shining lights of hope in, the, in a united effort with our true mother. With her lifelong goal and determination, she is to fulfill the dream of God. Our heavenly parent longs to live together with all of us as generations of good and loving people forming the heavenly parents' holy community, one family under God. True mother has been a wonderful example for me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Her life, her true life of commitment to live a holy life is truly a model for all to see that God lives in her. Her leadership and guidance which is outstanding, is touching millions of lives. The kingdom of God is truly advancing in our lifetime. We together will do the greater work for his glory and the kingdom of peace and unity in heaven and on earth is unfolding here and now. ACLC is the family of God Paul, for this time fulfilling God's mandate to go into all the world. On the foundation of ACLC, True Mother, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> on the foundation of ACLC, True Mother has launched to the world, the World Christian Leadership Conference. And we are all so grateful. And thank you 
and I am in his service. God bless you. Amen. Thank you so much, Reverend Dr. Marilyn Kotulik, for your touching and moving words. It's no wonder that true mother, as the beloved spouse of true father, the Reverend Dr. Sum Young Moon, has been able to accomplish so much and continue in the footsteps in union with her husband because of what you described as a four generational impartation. I love that expression. And we are all the beneficiaries of that spectacular impartation that God has given to our true mother and prepared her as the mother of peace and the only begotten daughter. Thanks again, Dr. Kotulik. Looking forward to seeing you next week in the fatherland. And now, as we draw to a close uh, in our WCLC April 2023 webinar entitled The Providence, this powerful problem, the springtime, the springtime of God's providence. We will hear some announcements delivered by our esteemed Secretary General of the World Christian Leadership Congress, none other than Reverend Bruce Grotner. Reverend Grotner. Thank you, Patriot. Thank you, Dr. Kim. Um, just a few announcements, three particular announcements. One, uh, as we know, WCLC Canada has a wonderful uh, monthly prayer meeting, and uh, they will be having theirs on every Tuesday. Uh, sorry, the first Tuesday of each month. So this next month in May is Tuesday, May 9th, and it's always at 5 p.m. So if you can uh, connect with them and their program, we, you know, WCLC has influenced and is influencing the entire globe in terms of uh, connecting uh, clergy and and bringing the body of Christ together. So that's in Canada. Uh, the next announcement is a, a great announcement uh, what's taking place every month in Africa. Uh, they move it from one uh, country to another. And I think you mentioned uh, Patriarch uh, that there are 54 countries, if I'm not mistaken, in Africa. So they're moving from each country to country um, each month and having a, a African spiritual day. So the next, it's the last Sunday of each month. So this happens to fall on the 28th of May and it's at 9 a.m. That's Greenwich uh, Maritime, uh, Maritime. And um, that is about four hours. It's four hours different than our time here. So it's, it's later there. Okay, so the next announcement we have is our monthly webinar, which always takes place on the last uh, Wednesday of the month. And this is the last day of the month. It's May 31st, and it's always at 9 a.m. And we're going to continue with the year to realize Heavenly Parents' dream. So we thank you, and, uh, and uh, that is it for our announcements. Thank you very much. Thank you, Reverend Bruce Gradner. You're doing a wonderful, magnificent work. And now, without further ado, we bring to the stage at this time, none other than our beloved brother, our master teacher in many ways, the Reverend Dr. T.L. Barrett to deliver the closing prayer. As many of you are well aware, it was at the Light Center Church of God in Christ in the windy city of Chicago in the state of Illinois, where true parents first spoke at a Christian church. That in and of itself makes Light Center Church of God in Christ an historic monument a location. And Dr. Barrett serving uh, with distinction from day one of the founding of the American Christian Leadership Conference in Seoul, South Korea, uh, and also serving on its uh, executive, National Executive Committee, uh, is known for his ability to take a word or a phrase and 
give it a, a meaning that we never had even thought of before. I could give you a number of them, but I do not wish to distract from the central purpose of Dr. Barrett coming to us at this time to deliver the closing prayer. And we are honored to call him brother, friend, teacher, and motivator. Let us receive now the Reverend Dr. D.L. Barrett. I love you so much, Patriot. Love you too, Dr. Archbishop George Augustus Stalling. And may I say by way of compliment to you that uh, two of my members and godchildren are in the Dominican Republic oh! to speak, enjoying a much needed vacation. And I told them that I want them to rest and relax in the knowledge that a guardian angel huh. is there watching <laughs> over them in the person of Patriarch. <laughs> <laughs> bits of George Augustus Stalling. So they promise they're going to have the best time of their life Great. in the Dominican Republic. Great. If I if I may have the liberty of making a comment before I give the closing <clears throat> prayer, I would appreciate it so much because I teach what was given to me by the Spirit Masters, what is called AOI. And that is ancestral orchestral influence. I believe that our genes and chromosomes don't only carry our physical traits, but they also carry our mental traits and they dictate our actions. And I believe that we have both positive and negative upline ancestors who pass on their traits to us. And we have to decide which orchestral influence we're going to follow. And we thank God that we have conductors for each generation. And we are perhaps the most blessed generation of all mankind because our conductors were our true and still is our true parents. They help us to make the decision to follow the impulses and the influences that we were born with. We were born with certain tendencies and proclivities and, and leanings towards positives and negatives. Some people describe it as I got an angel on one shoulder and a devil on the other shoulder. That's ancestral orchestral influence. And I will never cease to thank God for being born in the generation where the conductors who are trying to influence us to follow the right messages were our true parents, the Reverend Dr. Sam Young Moon and Dr. Ha Chan Moon. That is the only way we can hear such powerful prayers that Bishop Sykes prayed such wonderful greetings that Bishop Kim gave, such powerful, meaningful, moving messages that Dr. Jackson gave and Dr. Rouse gave and Reverend Takulik gave because of the directions that they decide to follow of our true parents. So can we just thank God as we close this seminar or this webinar can we offer thanks to God for our generational conductors? Father Moon conducted in such a marvelous way, and now he's conducting in the uh, spirit world, but let us uh, and, and petition heaven to give us the kind of uh, support that we need spiritually to follow the conducting of our orchestral conductor now, Mother Hachahan Moon. <clears throat> we want her heart to be glad so her heart will be strong. It's hard to have a strong heart if the heart is sad. And the saddest thing of a parent's heart is the disobedience of her children. But the most wonderful blessing of a parent's heart is to see the obedience of her children. So this is my prayer 
My prayer is that I will be the first partaker of being the kind of true son that will make mother's heart truly glad so that her heart will be stronger as she gets older. It is not true that she has to become weaker as she gets older because the body will follow the heart. If the heart is strong, the body will find a way to accommodate the dictates of the heart. And what makes the heart of true mother strong is seeing and knowing that her children of humanity are in obedience and taking our cue so that as we deal with the ancestral orchestral influence of our ancestors, we will choose the right ones to follow and that we will live in peace on earth and will be the cause of peace on earth so that our true parents will be happy that they accepted this awesome responsibility to be the true parents of humanity. This is T.L. Barrett offering this prayer in the name of T.L. and Cleopatra and in the name of T.L. Senior and Eddie May and in the name of Jesus Christ and all ascended masters and those who are lovers of peace everywhere. I offer this prayer, adieu and amen. Adieu, 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 adieu. 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 You did not fail us, you did not fail us. Dr. T.O. Barrett, I got a new one now, ancestral orchestral influence. Yes. <laughs> Thanks adieu. to all who have participated adieu. in this. Thanks to all who have participated in this World Christian Leadership Conference, April 2023 webinar entitled The Springtime of God's Providence. Let us go forth as those who are true parents, as sons and daughters, to bring the providence to fruition. Thank you for joining. Have a blessed day.